Hello, I wanted to just do a little short comparing how the compasses work on some of my smart devices compared to proper old-fashioned compasses. So what we've got here is my smartphone compass, my smartwatch's compass, my previous um, more expensive um, Google one, uh, the Fitbit, didn't even have a compass on it. Um, and then a British Army compass made by a Swedish company, Silver, and an old Swiss um, marching compass. So we're going to compare how they uh, look. And you'll notice that the smartwatch's compass is probably the worst of them. Sometimes this can be quite good, but I find this is the one that as soon as you're near anything magnetic at all that's quite weak, it gets thrown off very quickly. So let's discount this one. As I said, sometimes this one's all right, but most of the time... See, now it's gone quite accurate to the others, but... Like I said, it seems to be slight movements and it throws off a bit. So let's discount that one. So what we've got now is the two military compasses and the smartphone. If I can get that in frame. So let's uh, pop that back down and let's uh, turn them around a bit. So at the moment, these are all pretty accurate. Um, west is basically that way slightly to the left. So let's point all of them to where they're facing west properly. And then ho Right, I'm facing roughly east now. The house isn't directly on an east-west sort of angle. And as you can see, um, most of them have the north sort of bit in roughly the same area. Uh, I think actually, weirdly, this compass is being the least accurate at the moment, even though normally that's, I'd say, probably my best one. Um, so yeah, now let's face um, pretty much as north as I can look uh, in the house and see where they go. And here we go. Um, that one is saying we're just a few degrees east of north. That one's saying almost bang on north. And the Swiss one is saying almost bang on north. Now I'm facing as south as I can against sort of a standard wall. And you'll see most of these are kind of in the same area again. The smartwatch is actually working properly in this one. Yeah, you'll see they're pretty much all pointing in the same south gradient. So yeah, these seem fairly good. With the phone and the smartwatch one, you have to do that weird thing every now and again, where you have to kind of do a figure of eight shake with them to make them accurate. So my least favourite is the smartwatch. It's nice it has a compass feature, but like I said, it gets sort of thrown off very easily. The smartphone is actually pretty good. Um, but like I said, it still goes off now and then. And again, my favourites are probably, like I said, the actual retro compasses. Don't need any power for them. And the Swiss one isn't quite as good as the British Army one, I find, because of the fact that with the Swiss one, it's one of those annoying ones where if you sometimes lift it up at an angle, sometimes um, it gets a bit stuck, the needle or whatever. So yeah, my favourite is probably a silver one. It's got some old tritium in it that's very faded now. 